The purpose of this video is to compare North against South. Not this kind of North against South. This kind of North against South. And we think this is a big, hairy deal. For example, up north in the winter, we like to do a little tubing. Down south, tubing means a whole nother thing. In the north in the winter time, we like to get out our snowmobile. In Florida, it's a jet ski. In the north, we have a snow bunny contest. Down south, they have a bikini contest. Okay, those two, that's a complete wash. In the north, big crowds show up just to watch people ski. In the south, they show up to watch people walk around with almost nothing on. Uh, okay, so the south wins that one. Of course, there's some really pretty scenery up in the northern part of the country in the wintertime. On the other hand, Florida isn't exactly hurting for breathtaking scenery either. In the north, girls lay on their back and make snow angels. In the south, they lay on their back and make rich guys' boats look great. Just remember, in all those pictures where you see women that look like this on a boat, the owner looks like this. In Frankenmuth, Michigan, ice sculptors come from all over the world to compete for the prettiest ice sculpture. In Florida, they come from all over the world to compete for the most elaborate sand sculpture. In Michigan, skiers ride the chairlifts to get to new heights and great views. In Florida, higher heights and better temperatures. In Michigan, they have snowmen. In Florida, they have beachmen. In the north, you'll find whole families out ice skating for exercise. In Florida, on the other hand, they seem to play a lot of volleyball. In the north, there's so much scenery that people will just stop and point and stare for the longest time. In Florida, same thing. And I could watch them watch whatever they're watching all day long, couldn't you? In the north, we have little bugs like the box elder bug, but most of the bugs go away in the wintertime. Here's a harmless little mayfly. Doesn't even have a mouth and can't live for more than 24 hours. Here's a stink bug. They'll smell if you smash them, but they don't hurt you. Okay, these are cicadas. These guys will bury themselves for 13 to 17 years and live as underground nymphs and then emerge and start eating trees and stuff. These are considered big bugs in the north. Here's a Florida bug, the scarab beetle. How's that for size? How about the Madagascar hissing cockroach? Thank you, Florida. This is the, uh, I don't know what that is. I didn't even wanna know what that is. Ugh. You like snails? How about a little escargot for you, the size of a football? They call this one the whip spider. And then of course you got your golden orb. Thank you, Florida, keep them, it's okay. Yeah, sorry, that was for me, I just can't look at spiders anymore. If you like it cold in January, come on up. We've got some pure Michigan. Or if you like to maybe hang out where it's a little warmer, go to Florida, just stay out of Miami. Well, unless you wanna ride on a nice boat. We think this comparison is a big, hairy deal. If you liked the video, please subscribe and tell your friends about the Big Hairy Deal channel. Here's some more videos we think you might like.